And maybe you have a composition, as you said, you have an application at some point that will compose these two modules, right? You can have application one and another application, application two. Let's say application two, application, it wants only the list and we show all the events with all the filters. So it only depends on this module. It doesn't need to know anything about types, but application one will compose both of them. So what the application one needs to do is when it gets a list of types and present on the screen, and then it's time to load the other one, it needs to convert one event type into the other. So in this application here, you will have some kind of adapter that will adapt one module to the other. They will convert event type into the event listing event type. There must be some kind of conversion here. So we have a tiny adapter here in the application target to make sure that these two modules can work together, even though they don't know about each other. Okay, so this, so adapter, this, uh, will this adapter convert. will be in composition uh, module, right? Yes. 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 Okay. So or in a separate module, because it cannot be in here or in here. Otherwise, it will couple the modules again. So we either go on its own module or in the application module. Usually, it goes in the application module because it's simpler. You don't need to create even another module. And then application two just talks directly to this feature here and loads all the, the, the types, all the events without filter. Just one thing here. It's important to understand that the, the two event types, event type on the purple module and on the orange one, the, they don't have to mirror each other, right? The event type in the orange module just contains whatever the orange module needs, right? You can even call it event type name, for example, the, the name of the type, just to demonstrate better here the, the needs. Doesn't have a make different sense. name, different properties, different everything. Exactly. They are completely separated. They have, like, it's just, it happens that they have the same name. They had the same name before. This is key to understand here. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I completely agree with you. But when, when we, when we come to my solution, I already move this part into another adapter, another in, in the composition layer. Okay, uh, and I try to implement the same, uh, the, the same technique here. But I uh, couldn't figure out what is wrong here. What does it make sense to? Uh, uh, got the event name from uh, the event module. You you mentioned here that I need to make another class event type name. So how I can get the name for this uh, uh, class for for this uh, type? So how to get the actual value, right? Now we're talking about the yes. the actual instance of the type yes, name. Yes, I got it from adapter. Yes, I. It would depend. So where is the UI? Do you keep the UI along in this module here as well? We have the event types list UI, for example, right? And there is a, some kind of selection, right? I can tap on it and this should fire some kind of notification or some kind of delegation saying this was selected. Yes. Right, so the U, through the UI, you will select one item, right? An event type. So yeah, have some kind I, of callback. I already implemented a callback that uh, moves the index of uh, the selected tab. I even go further step and extract the event uh, type name based on this index. So here in this module, let's say you have the UI some somewhere, and when there's a callback from the UI, the adapter will listen to the callback. Yes. Whoops. We'll listen to the callback here, the adapter in the application one. And from that event type, it will create the event type name that belongs to the other module. Because it got it here in the callback, right? 
So the adapter here now has that value, the event type, and then it can create the event type name and pass to this module through the entry point here. Okay. And that's how you get the actual value and keep the modules decoupled. The adapter will listen to the callbacks. When there's a callback, you will fire the entry point of the next module.